Hey guys, Tara here from Recovering Book Quarter and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing my um, end of March wrap up and moving into April and um, looking at what my plans are for April and all those fun things. But let's start out with the winner of my giveaway last time. Um, so for hitting 600 subscribers, I was giving away this um, Lucy Heaton pattern book. Um, there's over 300 charts in here. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the random wheel generator. Um, I put everybody's, everybody that entered, I put their names on this wheel and let's see who wins. Okay, so you can see that KFP10596, which is Kim, she won the Lucy Heaton magazine. Um, so what I need you to do is down in the description box is my email address, and I need you to send me your mailing information um, along with, uh, just remind me of the fabric that you told me was your favorite fabric. That way I know for sure it's you and not somebody trying to pretend they're you to get free stuff. Okay, um, moving on, I have two giveaways for this week. Um, I hit 700 subscribers. Um, I'm so close to 800 subscribers right now, but um, so for 700, I'm going to give away two different things. The first one is a chart by one of my favorite designers. And um, I accidentally bought two of these whenever I bought mine. I've already stitched mine, um, but I bought two because <laughs> I wanted it so bad I didn't realize I had already purchased it. Um, so that is the Haunted Mansion from Bendy Stitchy. And this was so much fun to stitch. Um, if you would like this, you're going to need to put haunted in the, um, in your comment whenever you leave it. Um, so this is number one. You can enter to win both of them. You can enter to win just one. I don't care. It's up to you. If you put in for both of the words for this time, then I'll put you in for both of the giveaways. Um, the other one is a, the 2024 calendar from, um, the world of cross stitching. So it has six designs. It has those six designs that are right there on the front. Um, it's from Rendale Designs by Hannah Dale. So if you want this one, you can use the word animal in your comment. Um, okay, the rules. Please be a subscriber. Please be 18 because I'm going to ask you for your address. Uh, please reside within the continental United States because I can't afford to send things out of the country at this point. Um, and don't use the words giveaway, freebie, anything like that. Okay, we want to keep the trolls far, far away from here. So again, Haunted, if you want the Haunted Mansion chart, this is a brand new chart. And then if you want the 2024 calendar, you are going to say animal. I would also like to lead you to leave me the question that you need to answer for this. Um, and this is, you know, so I can know for sure it was you that whenever you respond back, if you win, um, I, I would like you to leave me a book recommendation. Uh, this last time I was left a book recommendation from um, Kim Colangelo and I really enjoyed the book. Um, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but I would love to hear some more recommendations from you guys because I'm always looking for new things to read. So that's it for the giveaway. Okay, let's look at um, new starts I had this last time. Um, okay, so I started three new things since I saw you last. Um, the first one is from um, The Witchy Stitcher. It is from her Patreon exclusive. Uh, the She's doing Nostalgic Tarot. And um, this is 
the death card. And I've been itching to start these. So I started it right here. As you can see, I'm just kind of all over the place with this, uh, going back and forth between colors, sections, all that stuff. So I worked on this for a full day. I have um, one more day to do on it because I'm giving all of my new starts uh, two full days. And for this one, it is on a piece of um, old top hat 16 count Ada from Dames of the Needle. And I purchased that through Garon's Ditchery, uh, who I adore them. Um, I am doing a slight conversion on this. I wanted to do this from Stash. So I didn't have all of the called for DMC. So I found some replacements within my Stash that I thought would work out well. Um, I'm using all DMC with the exception of I'm using one week style works from stash uh, and that's for the unicorn and it is snowflake because it's just like much brighter and has a little bit of um very it's very 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 slight variegation in it and I just wanted that unicorn to be extra special so that I actually um just started today so I will put day two in on it tomorrow that's why it's in my cue snap still I also started this kitchen is for dancing and this is from um, the world of cross stitching magazine and it is a um, by Emma Compton the design I again did this from stash so um, I picked a bunch of fancy flosses fancy flosses uh, so I'm doing this with Floss from um, Night Stalker's Calling, from Cottage Garden Threads, um, Threadworks, Roxy, and Stitchy Silks. Um, and I am doing it on a piece of uh, Haunted Ada, 16 count from Picture This Plus. And this is what I have done so far. And I'm really happy with my conversion. I really wanted to like see what all the colors were gonna look like. So most of the colors that I'm using are on there and I kind of love it. So this is actually, um, this is going to be a gift for my mom because growing up in our kitchen, we danced. <laughs> we did all kinds of dancing. Um, you know, we did like, the, <laughs> we did jitterbug, we did grease, we did the grease lightning dance, um, all kinds of fun stuff. It was always dancing in the kitchen. So when I saw that, I was like, I have to make that for her. And then my other new start is Sunflower Farms, which I will put a picture over here. Um, this is on a count of 18, 18 count Ada on Jade fabric from Picture This Plus. As you know, I love Picture This Plus. And I am doing this one as charted. And this is what I got done. This was a really fun stitch. Really, really fun. So got that nice border the first part of the border done. Really like this one. Okay, I'm trying to roll my stitching instead of folding it, because I know it's better for it if you roll it versus folding. All right, so those were my new starts. Like I said, um, these each got two full days, and so these are going to go away for now with the exception of the uh, tarot card because that one still needs one more day which will be tomorrow okay then additional progress um, I have three items I made additional progress on um, the first one is called hello baby 
Um, this is from the designer Emma off of, or Emma, Inna. What is it? Inna. Um, from Stitches Lover's Shop on Etsy. And um, putting a picture over here because I don't have a printout of the picture. I just have the chart. And my goal for the, this is actually a finish for now because um, this is a shower gift for my cousin, not a shower, baby gift for my cousin. The baby is due um, in the beginning of May. I want to say like May 10th, maybe May 8th or May 10th. So I wanted to get it done um, so that all I have left once the baby gets here is the name because they are going to be surprised by the baby. And so don't know the, se the um, sex, don't know the name, anything like that yet. So everything's done except for the actual baby personalization, which will be at the bottom. So I'm real happy with this, how this turned out. Um, the colors are totally off from what it showed. Like I see a really big difference in it, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with how it turned out. Um, this one was pretty fun to stitch also. So that's finished for now until the baby is here. Ooh, it's hot. If you hear something weird, it's my fan because it's a little bit too warm in here today. Okay, then I hit my um, yearly goal on my Stitch for All Seasons from Little Dove Sampler. This is the winter and this is what it will look like. So my goal for this year um, was to finish this and this, these bottoms here. This is what it looks like now and then it's going away. So this is what I have done. I would do so many things different <laughs> with this. Um, I really like the chart, but this was one of the first charts I did whenever I started back to stitching and I didn't understand fabric sizes and things like that. So, um, I, you know, you can see I have a very, 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 very small margin here. It's like three, three or four um, rows is my margin. And because of that, I'm having to stitch in hand, which um, I don't love. I really, really hated it initially, um, but it's, Good to do things that you don't initially like uh, and not give up on them too soon because as it turns out I don't hate stitching in hand but I am very new to stitching in hand so if anyone has any good tips when it comes to stitching in hand I would love to know what those are or if you know of any really good tutorials for stitching in hand if you want to put those down in the comments so I can check them out uh, it would be most appreciated um, so I would also change the color on this. I would have made it, uh, darker. It's, I, sh I didn't even say, it's just on a piece of DMC fabric from, um, that I got from Michael's. It's too, the fabric is too light for the colors that were in this. So I either should have picked a darker fabric or I should have made some color conversions before I decided to start it. But listen, it is what it is. Sometimes you just have to embrace the mistakes. You know what I mean? Okay. Last is one that I'm working on every month. And this is a um, gift for one of my coworkers, Corey, who um, celebrates Yule. When I saw her, I just saw it and knew I had to make it for her. So obviously it's this tiny modernist, the old tiny modernist the Yule Goddess. And I'm stitching this exactly as charted uh, with the called for fabric, um, which is Week Style Works um, 30 count grasshopper linen. And I need to put this on something because you'll be able to see through it. Let's see. I'll put a picture up here of what it looked like. Um, I have a goal of I want to say it's like 13, I think it's 1300 stitches each month. And 
this is what I have done now. So this month I got the bottom of her dress there. Um, it was all color for the bottom of her dress. That's what I worked on and got hit my stitch count. So she's beautiful. I love her. I love this linen. Yes, she's so fun. So, so fun. And my goal is to have her done by the end of the year so I can give it to Corey for a Yule gift. So that is my progress, my finish up progress for this month for, I forgot to put my chart back, um, for my cross stitch. Uh, before we get into my new starts, let's go ahead and like still finish up for the month. And I'll tell you about the four books that I read um, since last time I saw you. I'm sorry, I keep playing with my hair because I'm really hot right now. So, um, like I said, Kim Colangelo, she recommended um, The Dinner Party to me by Rebecca Heath. I had never heard of Rebecca Heath before. Um, she left this as a recommendation because I had said that I absolutely love books that have um, a podcast in them. And this had a podcast in it. And like a, like a, a true crime prod podcast, which is one of my favorite things too. So, um, when I went on to see if I could find it on audio, I saw that she had a book she had released last year called, um, the summer party. And I wasn't sure if those were related cause that was called the summer party. The one that was recommended to me was called the dinner party. And you know, they both have the word party in them and I can't stand to read things out of order. So I thought I'll just read the summer party. It won't hurt anything if I read that one first, even if they're not connected. So, um, by the way, they're not connected. But I read The Summer Party, and that one ended up being four stars. Um, it was a lot of fun. It's a psychological thriller. Um, kept me guessing. Uh, I would definitely recommend this one. And then The Dinner Party, again, same author, Rebecca Heath. That one ended up being three stars. It was a really good time. I enjoyed it. But when I'm reading a psychological thriller, if I guess the twist way far in the beginning of the book um it's not going to get more than three stars for me and this one i guessed really really early on what the twist was so um even though i enjoyed it i i liked listening to it it was three stars um because i figured it out really early then i read um ready or not by Kara bass bastine i can't read my writing because i'm having issues with my hand um I think it's Bastine. I'm going to have it up here. Um, this was a five star book. This is a contemporary romance and it is, um, an accidental pregnancy, uh, friends to lovers, co-parenting. Like it, it was so good. I really, I enjoyed it way more than I thought I was going to. Um, this was like a total cover read for me. I mean, it, beautiful cover and I love romance but um yeah I, I would highly highly recommend this one just such a fun read really good I listened to it it was great on audio and then the last book I listened to this month and finished was Argyle by Ellie Conway and this is the one that that movie Argyle was based on this book I didn't see the movie I have however heard that it's a very loose adaptation of the book um, I want to watch it now that I read the book. The book doesn't get great reviews, but I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It is a mystery, um, kind of like, think, um, like Dan Brown with the Da Vinci Code, um, the Payne and Jones series from Chris Kuzneski, like those kind of, where you're, going into different countries. There's like military, I don't want to say it's the CIA is the one that's doing the working. There's like CIA, there's some Russian government stuff in there. And it was, I, I really enjoyed it. So I'm not sure what the beef was with it that people had. Um, cause it only has like a 3.4 on Goodreads, which is a really low rating for Goodreads. But personally I enjoyed it and I would recommend it. So, um, like I said, please leave me recommendations down below in uh, the comment section because I'm always looking for new things to read. Um, so overall, well, overall, it was not a bad reading month.
Okay, back to cross stitch. Um, let's look at, we're gonna look at my plans and we're gonna look at haul. A lot of my plans involve haul, so this section's gonna kind of be a bit of both. Um, all right, so let's look first. These are my two previous whips that I'm going to work on that have my yearly goals attached to them. Um, the first one is called Bats and Flowers, and it's by Avdokia Nikolaevia of Panochka of Panochka. Um, this is from the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2021 magazine. And it looks like that. This one I am using knockoff threads from Timu that I do not recommend. I bought them so I could see if they were comparable to DMC. They're beautiful. Um, the colors are really nice, but when it comes to actually using them, I it's the most frustrating floss I've ever used, ever. Um, it splits, it knots, it tangles, it just don't love it. Um, so this is what I have done on it and that's not how it goes. This is at the top. Um, and my goal is to uh, finish this. So it shouldn't realistically, it should not take that long to finish. However, because the thread's so horrible, um, it's taking me much longer than I would anticipate. And this is on a piece of Picture This Plus, I think 16 count. Um, it's a scrap piece from something else I was doing. Okay, so that is, oops, to put my pattern back. That's my first plan for this month, which, let's back up a second. <laughs> so, I um, have really bad carpal tunnel in my right hand, of course, and I'm right-handed. I previously had carpal tunnel in my left hand, had that surgery. Oh, it took me so long to heal from that surgery, and so I've not been excited about this one, but this one's gotten to the point where it's constant, like, 8 out of 10 pain if I don't take ibuprofen, like, a lot of ibuprofen, to keep the pain down. So, um, I am actually scheduled for surgery, just got this scheduled, um, for April 10th, which is kind of a bummer because I had a lot planned for April. Now, when she explained how the surgery was going to go, she made it sound like it should be much easier than my last surgery. It's a different surgeon because I was not happy with how the one for this hand went. Um, and so this may interfere with some of my plans. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I had planned before I found out about the surgery. And then based on how my healing goes, it's how much I'll actually be able to do. Okay. Now, uh, back we go. Okay. So my other goal, yearly goal, um, I will put the a picture of the chart over here. Um, it is by Bendy Stitchy Designs, and it is the All Parties Are Advised to Chill. I am doing this to hang up at my office at work, just as a reminder for people. And this is on a um, piece of linen that I had gotten, I think it's linen. Yeah, definitely linen that I had gotten in a um, stitchy box, in a stitchy box box. So um, this is where I'll be starting out, and uh, my goal is to finish the border. So if I get that border done, I'll be happy. If you can hear somebody in the background, that's my daughter. She's on the phone with her friend, and she's being really loud. Okay. Um, so those are my yearly goals that I need to work on this month. You already saw the Yule Goddess. That one, um, I'm going to continue working on. I need to do my 1300 stitches on that. So now look at, let's look at fun stuff. Um, so April is my birthday month. I turned 43 on April 18th and I know you're like, I can't believe you're going to be 43, Tara. You so don't look it. 
<laughs> sometimes I'll go, you know, I just can't believe the young people that are cross stitching now. It used to be that there was a lot of older people that cross stitched. And now I'm like, I'm 43. I am an older person. <laughs> um, nothing wrong with that. I embrace my age. Don't dye my hair. You'll see I've got lots of nice uh, silvers in here. And um, so anyway, April 18th, I turned 43. And so I'm giving myself permission to start all the things. Uh, so this is going to be a, um, I only have to get those two things done, which I'll sprinkle throughout. Plus my other one. Um, and everything else is going to be new starts. So these are all the things that I have planned on starting. And then there's haul in here as well, like I said. So the first thing is, um, Oh, so let me say, okay, so if you want to stitch with me for my birthday, hopefully I'm back to stitching. That'll be eight days post-surgery. Based on what you said, even though I will have my, I'll still have stitches, she said I should be able to go back. I have no restrictions. I should be able to do my normal stuff. So we'll see. So hopefully I can stitch on my birthday. But if you would like to stitch with me, what I would like you to do is start your most anticipated start. That's what I'm doing for my birthday. I will be starting my most anticipated start, which actually I'll show you that first. Um, this is my first ever long dog. And I went through all of them and had to decide which one I was going to make my inaugural long dog sampler. And so I chose Act of God, which is this one. Sorry for the glare. Um, and what really sold me on this is you'll see at the very top, there is octopus and I love octopi. So they're right there, octopus. Um, and then there's also whales. Also love whales. Um, so I'm like, so I look at this and I just see new things every time I look at it and it's, oh God, it's so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look how gorgeous it is. So, um, if you've been watching me, you know, I'm not a monochromatic stitcher by any stretch of the imagination. Um, so, and I also wanted to kind of go a little bit out of my comfort zone this time. Um, I'm looking around because, oh, here we go. I'm going to show you. So, for this, I'm going to do this a bit differently. I am going to be stitching this on um, a piece of... Uh, Lugana even weave um, an ivy from fiber on a whim so this is the color that's pretty pretty true so I'm going with like a green and then I thought I want to go with a green because I really like the colors green and pink and I also like green and purple and I like green and pink and purple so I'm doing green and pink and purple the green is this and then I picked out 10 pinks and 10 purples. I floss tossed and uh, this is what we're going with. And what I'm going to do for this is each time I s pick a section um, or a different motif or whatever, I am going to roll a d20, which is a 20 sided dice from my D and D days. Um, and each floss color is going to be assigned a number. And so whatever I roll is what that um, section or motif or whatever is going to be. And I'm so excited to start this. And I think it's going to be so much fun. So that is my birthday stitch. So I will be starting that April 18th. It will for sure get two days. So again, this is assuming that I'm back to stitching. I hope so guys so much okay then um my April is autism awareness month um I for anyone that's unaware I um, am a behavior specialist by trade and I specialize in autism and I also have a very narrow spicy 14 year old and um, so I wanted to start something for autism awareness month so for that, I am going with the um, Hand in Hand from Silver Creek Samplers, which was released at market. 
that is what it looks like. So I will be starting this April 1st for sure because that's before the surgery. Surgery is the 10th. Um, I, let me take this out of the, this is part of my haul here. Um, I am doing this on a piece of sugar cream pie, 32 count linen by Be Stitch Me. Um, this was from Garon Stitchery and let's, let's see if we can get the color. It's pretty much the color. It's going to be on that. And then I also got all of the called for floss, which um, is primarily DMC and also uses some classic color works. Um, here's the classic color works. It uses, it uses blue corn and Cupid is the classic color works that it uses. And I'm super happy to stitch this. So that will be April 1st and 2nd is my plan for that one. Then, let's see what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so I got a tote from Grand Tote and Bags. Again, Grand St um, Stitchery. I think what happens is um, they have their Toad of the Month Club, and then I think if they have leftovers, they get put up for sale. So look how pretty this is. I'm trying to get some non-Amazon plastic bags. Um, so yeah, super cute. Here's the front. So I'm assuming this was February's club bag with the gnomes. I love gnomes. And this is nice, very nice size bag here. So, so, oh, and here's the inside is Sweethearts, Sweetheart Lollipops. So living in here right now is um, the, I'm going to put a picture up here. This is the British Quaker flag by Vivsters. She is on Etsy. And um, my daughter is obsessed with, um, with England. She keeps saying she wants to go back and live in England. Guys, we never lived in England. We're not from England. Uh, ethnically, that's not where we're from. But she, whatever. She loves England. She loves English people. Um, I mean, I love England and I love English people, but we're not actually English. So saying I'm going to go back to England doesn't necessarily make sense. But she wants a British flag. And so I was like, I can totally stitch you a British flag. This is going to be gigantic. Uh, so I am doing this on a 18 count vellum Ada. Wait till you see how big this is. So this is a new piece of fabric. I got it just for this. Look at this. It goes this way. It's it's giant. It's gonna be huge jungus. So she asked me the other day, she said, When are you gonna start my British flag? So I'm gonna start it in April. So I think this will be my um like a Sunday start for me probably so it'll get two days and this one only has three colors I think let's see four four colors I'll show you this is the color palette there we go just DMC's but it uses a lot of floss let me tell you like Massive amounts of floss. Oh, had a DMC rain showers everywhere. Okay, so I'll be starting that, hopefully. I am going to do, I'm going up to my camp. And so I'm doing a new start to take to camp with me. And so this one will get more than two days because this is the only piece I'm going to take to camp with me. Um, this is... I've been wanting to participate in the Year of the Dragon Stitch. However, I couldn't find a dragon that I really liked a lot. Um, the ones I like the most are full coverage, and I'm just not necessarily a full coverage girl. So I, I have been looking, and I found one totally by accident. Just happened to pop up on my Etsy. So this is um, by Maya Stitch, and it is um, the 
it is Violet's Dragons from Fourth Wing. So, um, Violet's Dragons are Taren and, um, and Dorna. And this is what it will look like over here. Um, I am going to do it on a piece of uh, Charles Craft from DMC. It's 14 count. This was from Stash. 14 count. Um, and it is, I picked this fabric because it's like the sky. So it'll look like they're flying in the sky. Oh, it's pretty good. It shows the modeling there. So this will be my camp stitch. Um, going to camp next week before my surgery. The weekend before my surgery. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I think the 4th or 5th I'm going up. And it's been forever. Way too long since I've been there. So really looking forward to that. Okay. Um, next up is okay um this is home is where your honey is from heartstring samplery this was another market release um and my nieces my two nieces whenever they play house one's the mommy and one's the honey and the honey is the little girl and i just saw this and i thought of them and i'm like i have to do that i couldn't stop thinking about it so um i got this kitted up um it is on a 18 count sprite ada i'm doing it on this purple like a violety light violet kind of color um and then i'm using the called for floss which is classic color works and weak style works so let's see if we can i'm gonna show you what that will look there's my colors I think it'll look nice. So this will probably be a, um, a Sunday start. Then this is another pattern that I'm just so excited to start. I, I had a really hard time deciding if I wanted to start this one or if I wanted to start the long dog and I ended up going with long dog for my birthday stitch. Um, but I am also hoping to start um, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings, which like everybody's doing and I just think it's absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited to do it. Um, doing it with all the called for floss and on a 40 count Country Mocha Newcastle Linen. Um, got this from 123 Stitch. And I got all of the called for DMC. Yeah. There we go. So that's part of my haul from this time. And the last one that I know for sure I'm going to, well, again, provided my hand cooperates, that I'm going to start is um, bury me with my needle and some linen in my hand. For I would not be idle when I reach the promised land. This is from Lindy Stitches. Isn't this pretty? I've had this in my stash for quite a while and just hadn't had it kitted up yet. So finally got it kitted up. Now, um, I'm a little, <laughs> a little nervous about the color of the fabric. It did not look this yellow on the computer. This is why I so wish that I had an LNS that I could go and actually see things in person. Um, I wound up going with a 16 count parfait Ada from Picture This Plus, and that is yellow. That is really, really yellow. Um, I did do a floss toss because I was a little worried about some of the colors, and I did have to swap out. Um, Let's see, which one do I swap out? There's a light yellow. I can't remember which DMC it was, but I swapped it out for 972 because the yellow was too close to the yellow of the um, of the fabric. So I'm glad I did that floss sauce. 
everything else I think will be fine. Everything else is called for. So I'm doing this with um, Dinky Dyes and DMC, right? I think that's it. Yeah, Dinky Dyes and DMC. And this will be my first Lindy Stitches. So I, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, can only cross this one, I can't get these ones crossed. Um, hoping that I'll be able to do all of this in April. <laughs> we shall see. So, um, okay, those are my April plans. Now, let's look at the rest of my haul and the stuff that I got kitted up to start. Uh, I'll tell you if I have a day set aside to start this already or if it's just going to be for a, um, uh, like a new month start or for a Sunday start one or the other. Okay, so the first one was in this nice project bag here from Black Needle Society. They're, I can't remember, it was, the trick or, it was either the trick or the treat box. I'm not sure which one because I got them both. Um, this is, I just got this, this is new, new charts. Autumn is as joyful from Leela Studio. That's what it looks like. And this is going to be my um, first day of autumn start. So this isn't for a while, but I got it all kitted up. So I'm doing this with all of the called for DMC on a piece of um, 40 count platinum Newcastle linen. Whoops. From picture or from uh, one, two, three stitch. And it's kind of washing it out slightly, slightly darker than that. Um, and then got all my, all my flosses for it. So those are beautiful colors. So this will be my autumn start. Then this is going to be my actual, like actual Halloween day start. Um, this is Halloween in Sitta. From Croquet a go go, Croquet a go go, a go go, go go, Croset. I don't know. I can't say it. But I'm gonna show it to you. So that is, that's the name of the of the shop up there, and this is the chart. I'm in love with it. So this will be my Halloween day chart. So this is a new chart. And this is going to be on a 32 count vintage country mocha Belfast linen with all of the called for DMCs there. So I won't see this one for a while. Um, this will be a October start. This is one of my, um, what, listen, I left these stinking bags open so I wouldn't have to zip them. Like, I don't mind the zipper sound, but I know some of you guys do. Uh, so I apologize. I keep zipping, unzipping, zipping, rezipping. Uh, this is going to be, I think this will probably be my, um, October 1st start. And that is, um, Moonlight Garden. Isn't she fun? Love the, that she's growing candy corn. Uh, this is from Rebel Stitcher Designs, and I'm going to do this on a piece of 18 count Haunted Ada from Picture This Plus with the called for classic color works. Um, let's see, there's five classic color works and then a gentle art and then one DMC. So there are the flosses for that. This will, next one will be a December start. Uh, this one is under the mistletoe from Don't Forget to, or, <laughs> Don't Forget to Floss Finally a Farm Girl. I just think that's so cute. This was market. Several of these are market. I keep forgetting to say it. Um, I am doing this on a 
28 counts of Nocturne Cashew Lennon. And I might, let's see, how is this done? This is done two over two. Looks like she did one over two. Uh, stitch using all DMC floss using one strand for more primitive style. So I don't know if I want to do this one over two or if I want to do it one over one. I've never done one over one and 28 count might be the time to try that. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We shall see. So like I said, this is just DMC. There's the colors. So this will be a December start. Um, here's another October start. This will probably be one of my um, Sunday starts in October. So this is Midnight Ride from Autumn Lane Stitchery. This was the first pattern I absolutely had to have um, when I started work looking at the uh, market releases. I just think she's stunning. So I am doing her on, um, again, a piece of 28 count haunted Kesha linen from Picture This Plus. And this one I will do two over two. 28 count stitched over two threads. And this is all, um, I'm using the called for DMC for this one. So that's how we look. you can see this is like the month of kidding things up okay here this is going to probably be my oh the, sorry wrong one okay this is going to be another um october start and this is from praiseworthy stitches um esmeralda's academy of charms isn't she pretty so this one i am doing with the called for um floss from what did i get here from Weeks Dye Works, and then I'm using the DMC instead of the um, Gentle Arts. And I'm going to do it on a piece of Cobalt, 16 count from Fiber on a Whim. That is, oh, you can tell that like, it's getting late in the day color is not showing up great but I, I really love the this color a lot this is one of those that I had alert me so it would let me know when it was in and I bought some to have in stash also so like I said this is called four weeks and um, doing the DMC conversion instead of the uh, sampler threads this also calls for some buttons, no how beads. I'm probably going to go into stash because I've gotten different charms and buttons and beads and stuff from my stitchy boxes um, that I've gotten. So that's my guess as to what I'll do for that. Instead of ordering them. Okay, then I have um, Day of Jubilee from Silver Creek Samplers. This is going to be my Juneteenth start. And for this one, I am doing it on a uh, sugar cream pie 18 count Ada from Be Stitch Me that I got off of Gron. And this is the color of the. Gosh, it is just getting white washed out so bad right now. This has kind of like a peachy hue to it, and I don't know if you can tell that. Um, and I'm doing this with the um, called for floss. I was able to get it the thread pack through Garon Stitchery also. From Forbidden Fiber Co. And so it's all Forbidden Fiber Co. And then there's one glass that color works. All right, another um, December start. This is um, Sleigh Bells Ring from Praiseworthy Stitches. Sleigh Ride, actually, I guess it's called. Um, and this one I'm doing with the called for Weeks and Gentle Art. And then I'm going to use beads 
from Stash. Um, and I need to get more blending filament. I was only able to get my hands on um, the 091 and the 5760 from Cranek. So I still need to get the 015HL and the 003HL. They just were out of stock, so I didn't get to get that. Um, got all the other floss. And this one is on a piece of corn flour. They were out of the, the um, called for linen, or did I get linen? No, they were out of the called for fabric and so I had to find something comparable and I ended up going with um, corn flour it is a 16 count Ada it's kind of close kind of close to the color there moving on I Okay, this is another fun one another out of my comfort zone kind of thing here so this chart was from the um stitchy box sampler box this last year um and it is deborah cocken 1806 so that is what it looks like and i am going to do this one um with this is going to be the color for all the letters. It is from Night Stalker's Calling, uh, the candy corn colorway. And then I picked, um, let's see, four oranges and four yellows. And I'm going to roll my D8, which looks different than the other one I showed you. My D8 dice, each one will be assigned a color, and that's how I will decide which motifs are going to be what color. Then I kitted up um, Monster Movie Night by Lola Crow. And this one I wanted to do from Stash. Um, I didn't have everything that it called for, so I just did some conversions so you can see I have my conversions all written in there wherever you see my writing those are flosses I did not have oh did I even show you the picture yet this is what the picture looks like uh, I'm pretty sure this was from the black needle studios either the trick-or-treat box I think it was from the trick box so I am doing this one with um, a 16 count Ada called Spooktacular, and it is from, Be is it from Be Stitch Me? Yeah, from Be Stitch Me. Very, very uh, Halloween -y kind of color there. I'm not gonna save this one for October though. I'm gonna just make this a Sunday start. And so I have like, let's see, I'm using DMC, I'm using Roxy and maybe that's it just dmc and roxy are the ones that i found that works best so we shall see once i get that started okay i just have one more to show you guys i got kitted up and we'll eventually now yeah and we'll eventually start here so this one is antique locks and keys by shakespeare's peddler i'm pretty sure this I feel like this also came in the stitchy box sampler box but I could be totally wrong I may have bought this I don't know this is what it looks like and I am going to do this I pulled um, a flower silk by stitchy box from stash and I'm also using a piece of fabric that came with stitchy box also so uh, that's focusing or not the color is oak and it's like has a slight variegation not too variegated okay so that's my um haul with future plans um 
Okay, I want to do floss tuber shout out. I'm gonna shout out two floss tubers. Um, the first one is North Island Stitcher. She, if you, <clears throat> which, um, I'm not sure which of her videos it is, but she, one of her more recent videos, she has, I think she's from New Zealand and she has her own shop and she does her own designs. They're full piece, um, they're full coverage designs. They are some of the most beautiful full piece coverage design. Full piece, why can't I say that? One of the most beautiful full coverage designs I have seen. If I were a fan of full coverage of actually stitching it myself, I would totally purchase some of her, um, some of her designs. They're just, they're gorgeous. They're right up my alley. Um, so I'm going to link her down below. Please check her out. Um, in the one video she shows, like she has her floss to be the beginning, then in the second half she goes through uh, like all her new designs that she has in the shop. And there's a ton of them. And then um, I also want to call out Daybreak Stitcher. Um, she uh, is a stitcher who you, grew up in Pittsburgh initially and now she's out in Utah, I think it is. Um, but she has beautiful stitching, absolutely beautiful stitching. And her personality is just wonderful. Like I want to be her friend. So please go check her out. Also, they will both be linked down in my description box. Um, I do have one more request from you guys. So my daughter's Christmas gift for this past year was to go see Melanie Martinez in concert. The closest she was coming was Columbus, Ohio. So we got tickets for there. As you've heard me say so many times at this point, I do not have an LNS and I desperately want to go to at least one LNS, if not a couple more. So if you guys know of L any LNSs that's between Columbus and Pittsburgh, I want to stop on my way back from the concert because we're staying overnight. So we'll be traveling home on a Saturday. I think either Friday or Saturday, I can't remember, but, um, so leave me the name of LNS in that area on that trail, if you will. Um, if you know of any, because I would love to go and visit. Um, okay. I think that's it. Uh, don't forget to enter the giveaway if you are interested, um, in the haunted mansion or, um, was the other one haunted mansion or the calendar the animal calendar um yeah all right my goal is to keep this under an hour and i am very close to under an hour so okay i don't know if i'll get to talk to you guys again before i have my surgery we'll see um but i have some ideas of a couple floss tube videos that don't require me to show uh progress to do I had some ideas of, of some stuff to do so um anyway I'm rambling now okay guys um if you want to find me anywhere everywhere you can find me is down in the description box my pango uh, my pango storefront is there my Instagram goodreads um wish list is down there email is down there Kim don't forget to email me with your mailing info so I can send you your book um of, of charts and yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Signing off. I'll talk to you later. Bye.